still there is no technologically or commercially feasible method that can be used at scale to produce graphene which can compi- compete with graphite or any other alternative material to make it that much more economically feasible in terms of uh, getting the battery closer to commercialization also i would just like to touch upon the point that you brought about graphene with respect to how sodium can be used graphene in our batteries or is graphene the next big alternative right so we've done a lot of research with respect to different derivatives of gra- carbon and graphene being one of them right now the challenge with graphene is that you know one of the many reasons why people are so excited about using graphene inside a battery is because the energy density theoretically it has around close to 500 watt hour per kg and that would potentially solve a lot of problems when you talk about high energy density batteries right there are two challenges with respect to graphene number one uh, not getting too much scientific into it it starts agglomerating after few cycle which means the good performance that you see during the initial cycle cannot be sustained over a longer period of time which means you know a the production of graphene is highly expensive which means the technology becomes non feasible if you are going to use it over a, over hundreds of cycles so that's the biggest uh, pain point with respect to using graphene in battery technologies uh b the entire process of manufacturing graphene itself is also very expensive right people use hammer's method along with couple of other methods to produce graphene but still there is no technologically or commercially feasible method that can be used at scale to produce graphene which can comp- compete with graphite or any other alternative material to make it that much more economically feasible in terms of uh, getting the battery closer to commercialization